Hi everyone, welcome back to the Spring Security Tutorial. This is the continuation of the previous video. Make sure to watch the previous video before proceeding with this. In this video, we are going to learn how to deny all the HTTP requests inside the Spring Security application. Assume that there is a scenario, we need to deny all the HTTP requests. In that case, inside our security configuration file, we can write a code to deny all the HTTP requests. So any request that comes to our Spring Boot application, the Spring Security will deny those requests. Let's see how we can do that. So inside our Spring Security configuration file, we have override the configure method. So this will accept the HTTP security as a parameter. So inside this, we may call the deny all method. So all we got to do is we need to call the authorize request dot any request. So any request that comes to our application, we need to deny those requests. So we'll call the deny all method and we will call the HTTP basic method. So any request that will comes from the HTTP that we're going to deny to those requests. So now let's jump to the STS IDE and let's write a code for this and test our application. All right, I'm inside the STS IDE. Let's open the explorer and let's go to the configuration class, which is my security config. And inside this, what I'll do is I'm going to remove all of this code and let's make use of this HTTP security, HTTP dot authorize requests, authorize requests, any request dot deny all. We're going to call the deny all method. So any request that comes to our application, we're going to deny those requests and we're going to call the HTTP basic. So now let's save this. Let's start the application. Run on Spring Boot application. Okay, our application is started. Let's open the Postman because I have removed the HTTP form. So we are just stick to the HTTP basic. So let's open the Postman. localhost colon 8080 slash we have a two rest endpoints slash home and slash dashboard let's try for slash home the moment we click send we should get the message unauthorized the status 401 which is forbidden okay so now let's try for dashboard and the moment we click send you can see we get the message unauthorized. So any request that comes to our application, the Spring Security will deny those requests. Okay, now let's discuss the valid scenario. For example, we have created a Spring Boot application and in our application, we have a two different users. One is the user and the admin. So admin resources are protected resources and the user resources are public resources. So anyone can access the user resources. Whereas the admin resources are protected resources. So whenever the user is logged in, if the user is try to access the admin resources, we have to deny those requests. Okay, whereas uh, in the user resources, anyone can access those resources. So how to achieve that? So let's go to the STS. Let's create a new controller, which is admin controller inside the controller package. I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to call this admin controller. And I will quickly add the rest controller to this rest controller and I will also add the request mapping request mapping and I'm going to provide a class level URI which is slash admin and I'm going to create a two rest endpoints public string admin home admin home this is a get mapping get mapping Let's add the URI slash home. Let's return a static text, which is admin home. And I'll quickly copy this and I'll paste it. I'll change this to admin dashboard, admin dashboard. And I'll quickly add this to dashboard. And let's change the text to admin dashboard. 
Okay, so now we have a two rest endpoints, which is specifically for admin. And similarly, inside our home controller, I'm going to add a class level mapping, request mapping, which is request mapping. These resources are for user. So user slash user slash home slash user slash dashboard. So let's save this. So now let's go to the security config file. And inside this, let me get rid of all this http dot authorize requests dot ant matchers we are going to provide the uri which is slash user slash star star which means any uri that comes after the slash user that should be a public url we need to permit those request permit all similarly dot ant matchers slash admin slash star star any request any request that comes after the slash admin slash then that we have to deny those requests so dot deny all dot and dot http basic so assume that uh, in our application we have a you know login uh, login to the application the user will log into the application and now when the user try to he's having a role user role and if the user try to access the uri which is a slash admin slash home or slash dashboard then the spring security will deny those requests because he's having a role user and he's trying to access the admin resources so let's save this let's try it out our application is restarted let's navigate to the postman and let's enter the url localhost colon 8080 slash First of all, let's access the public URL, which is user slash home. So the moment we click send, we should get a message. You are on the home page. Similarly, if I access the dashboard, then I will get the message. You are seeing the dashboard contents. Similarly, now let's say uh, the user has been logged in and he is trying to access the admin resources slash admin slash home. The moment we click send, we should get a message unauthorized. Similarly, if I navigate to the dashboard, when I click on this send, you will see the same message unauthorized 401. So this is how the Spring security will deny all those requests. The moment we use the method deny all, it is going to match us for the URIs. And if the required URI matches, then it is going to deny all those requests. Alright, that's all about this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.